Hello, okay, Dark Zero here. I'm gonna play some fights in tight spaces. They uh they released a free kind of first chapter to this game. What the heck is this? Nope, let's uh quit to the main menu and we'll start again. Oh, load game. So I have died twice so far. I've only played twice. Uh, the first time I was really learning what's going on. The second time I really messed up on these these are enemies that you get a little bit later on that auto attack whenever you do anything near them. Really need to keep that in mind. If you're not pushing them away and you're not on the side of them, you really can't do anything unless you put a counter card on or a block card on first. So let's jump in. Death Heads Bike Gang. See if I can finally get through this this prologue area, which I would assume would be the easiest part of the entire game. So I've been looking forward to this one for a while. It's supposed to come back back out in January. Um, it got delayed and delayed, so now I have no idea what's going on, so it's nice to see at least something happening. And it's really fun so far. I really like the aesthetics. Okay, uh, alright. Two guys. If you knock them out of this area, by the way, they instantly die, hence the skull on the floor, but it's quite hard to do. There's a couple of movement cards, but right now probably not anything. I can also knock people into other people's attacks which would be really nice we have a long strike so i could hit this guy here hitting them against the wall doesn't seem to do much though uh, i could counter this guy's gonna do six this guy's gonna do five and he's gonna attack first so he would do five and push me here and then this guy would hit me so that's 11 counters only eight but i do have a block so i could just straight stand here and do nothing and honestly that might be what I do I might straight add my block add my counter and I might just long strike this guy and then hit them both back with a counter oh okay so he's gonna push me here anyway I thought that moved me forward so I mean I need to really pay attention to my cards because some of them advance you and some of them don't they leave you in the position but you jump forward and attack so I'll end my turn there. I still won't take damage, um, but I won't counter anybody. So that was a bit of a waste. Fortunately, we're going to get a wall bash quick strike card, which means we can just crack this guy against here. Oof. He's going down. I could actually just finish him off and then move. Uh, four damage and one push. I think hit push against something does damage or just like an empty push does something let me just try this and then if i have to i'll move away so that i can see does this kill him or does it just do four damage i think it's good to learn this stuff so if you push him against a wall it does do a little bit of extra damage uh it seems to do four damage so that killed him this guy's got 14 i can that's, he's pretty close though so that's not gonna work i'm gonna have to and he's going to push me out if I don't move. So I can't even just block him out. So I'm going to move. I could move straight in front of him. He's going to do five. I might just move right in front. And then block. That way he'll push me back just a little bit. And I'm still kind of in front of him instead of moving too far to the side. Oh, there's a new guy coming in anyway. So. Hmm. Front kick. This is, this is what I mean, I'd like to be on the other side of this. I'm trying to do this within four turns, so the best way to do this is going to be... I mean, that combo finish is going to be nice if I can get my combo up. It's times two combo... Ti plus two times combo damage. Uh, up to two tiles away. Okay, so we don't have any combo. We need three combo to do that anyway. So we could dash towards, front kick this guy away, but he, he kick up to two tiles away. So he goes for the like a pretty far forward kick anyway. So I really need to move, to, like move away. What I can do is move here. Hit this guy, just, just because I might as well use the card to get a little bit of damage. And then I'll push him with a kick, though, as well, so it does a bit of damage into the space where the other person, like, in front of... So he's going to actually do his attack straight against this person, which is going to be nice. That's going to be an extra six damage. 
Uh, I'll have to end my turn there. Could emergency move and push, but uh, push, push him out of position. So let's just go with the six damage that we have. So now we have a 10 and an eight. What can we do? Combo finisher is going to kill either one of them when we get it. So four damage and a kick. Um, I do have a push. So if I do combo finisher advances me as well. So if I, uh, is this up to two tiles away? So I'm going to kick him away. Then I can combo him. You should kill him and I'll move forward. Then if I just step to the side here, I can push this guy outside and instantly kill him. Okay. It's coming together. Ah, okay. We got a new card. Um, ooh. Dodge is nice. Um, if anyone's previously targeting me the attack, does that mean if they're going to shoot me from a distance as well, they also attack and maybe potentially shoot their friends? Uh, I don't know, though. This one is really nice. I think I like having more push in the deck. Uh, moving is also nice, but I have a lot of move cards. I think I want more push, to be honest. Um, do you want the big open space? Targets four. Targets four. Money and cards are the rewards. Um, weakened targets. I don't really know what that means, but okay. Let's go. So we go, we've just had a small restroom fight, so let's go for a big kitchen fight. A lot more areas to push people out of. Also a lot of places to get trapped. Oh, that's perfect, because he's going to stand right in front of us. And he's going to go bye-bye right out there straight away. I do need to move. Um, I can just move in any direction. So if I do this, the thing is, I can move here and then move two spaces. But then this person's going to move at the end of the turn. So I'm actually just going to... I could just even block and move back. Because this guy's going to shoot me as well. So... Let me think about this. Slip costs one. And then I could front kick this person. So I'd be here. And he'd be back. I think that's what I probably want to do. I could slip past him, potentially. No, because I need the move door. Okay, so... Unless, because that pushes him back, and I advance. I advance, then I do damage, then maybe I could slip behind him. So let me try this. It's This is this is information gathering still. So, emergency move. I moved, wasted that card. You get one emergency move, by the way, at the start of each fight, and then once you use it, it's gone, but it stays in your hand until you do use it. I'm going to try and hit this guy with a front kick to push me forward it pushes him forward as well so that's actually not good um because he's gonna push me back in the line of because he's the first to attack always so what i'm gonna do is move forward anyway using slip even though it doesn't do anything for us and just block and i'll just take the five block but at least he doesn't push me into the line of, of this bullet here so take that they shoot nothing Okay. Okay. This this guy is not very smart. He's uh he's gonna shoot a wall. <laughs> I've never seen that before, but uh, sure. Interesting tactic. Um, I can long strike. So this guy's got 14 health. This wall bash is really good, and I could just instantly kill him. Uh, not instantly kill him. Plus combo count, actually. Depending on the combo, I could instantly kill him. But, because there's nobody else around to hit anyway, and I need to move forward to do it, I'm probably just going to move straight forward, wall bash him, and you know, finish him off, basically. Let me just, yeah, I'll just hit him with this. The cards are going to get discarded anyway, and I'm not losing them, so I might as well use them. Nobody's going to shoot me, nothing's going to happen. Skip his turn. 
we have only these two enemies left and we have we have to get a five combo oh god okay um so what i would like to do is front kick this person and this should be a push against the wall as well so i did 10 so let me see that last card front kick six so yeah four they do get four damage by getting pushed against the wall that's great to know um i'm also just gonna like crack him in the face get that combo i'm pretty sure moving loses you the combo though let me try it it knocks you down one so that's not the worst thing ever they're gonna shoot each other and he's gonna die that's kind of good but i also need this combo to be up so um hmm. I don't know what block does for my combo, but range is one to two for this one. So I want to give him a quick jab. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this five combo thing. Hmm. He's going to do 10 damage anyway. I can do this and just take the shot. See if he moves closer to me. Can I do any less than four damage? I don't think I can, so... You know what? Uh, this is gonna use the three combo, but whatever. Let's just uh, just smash his head against this wall. Oh no! Okay, he didn't do it. So I lost thirty quid. But we're all right. We get a new card. I do still like uh, increase the combo level by two. You see, that would be really good for these kind of situations. It's a zero cost thing, but it's also often an empty card. It's just useless. So not fantastic. Um, wall bash is good. Because uh, you don't get it very often, but it's also situational. Push is great, but I do have quite a few pushes now, I feel. Um, I could take nothing, but the deck still isn't great. This is going to help me get rewards, but it's dead way too often, I feel. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for wall bash and just see. Because it also does end your combo, so it's kind of the opposite. <laughs> but it does a heck of a lot of damage. So we're on to another restroom fight. I guess we can't escape. Can't escape the toilets. So if I could kick this guy out with one of those long... If I could... Oh, okay. Well, that guy's going to be in my way now. I'm going to try anyway, because I don't know if this works. But let me try it. If I hit him into him, does he fall backwards? That would be awesome. Uh, no, it just stops him from going down. So that kind of sucks. Um, I would have really liked that to work. Hmm. In, if I'd have known that, I, I would have slipped. No, I can't slip down here. Hmm. Well, this guy's going to hit this guy for six. So if I can do four damage to him. And then I just want to move here, basically, so these two shoot each other. Because, oh no, this guy's going to go last. So this guy's going to kill him. So this is fine. Just give him a quick crack in the jaw, and then we'll jump backwards. You know what? I'm going to add the block just in case anyway, but I don't think I need it, because he should kill him first. Bang. Okay. Well, that's good to know, because these guys do not auto-attack everybody, so... Why, though? We'll attack this turn. Oh, so they have icons to see... Okay, so it's... This guy's not going to shoot. Does that mean even if I get in his way, he's not going to shoot? It's that's that's a weird one. This is these are the kind of questions I need to kind of start trying to answer as soon as I can. So, this guy's eight. Um, four damage and a push. I could do that to this guy. No, if I do it to this guy, I can do ten damage straight off the bat. Hmm. He's going to attack. He's going to attack. And I guess these guys only attack if you're in front of them. I need to test this. I really need to test this out. So, uh, this is information I need to know. So, let me just... Let me... Just... I want to... I might as well kill this guy. Do I have enough... Mana? <laughs> okay. And now if I kick him forward... No, I'm not going to have enough mana. Okay. Well, I, I can emergency move anyway. So 
So just, just kill him. You die quickly. Then I move here, and then I emergency move. This guy's gonna do six, and this guy's gonna do ten. So I'm gonna move here, and we're just gonna see. Oh, now, yeah, now he gets ready to attack. So he, they do attack if you're in front of them, and that's the issue. Okay, but they won't attack their friends. So that's we lost health, but we gained, uh, I think, pretty valuable information. So this guy will not attack. This guy will attack. So what I need to do is shift past this guy, then push him into the line of sight of the guy who will definitely attack. And that's that's it really. And we're gonna get him shot. Right. So I need a five combo now, so let me see what I can do. Leg injury is just a dead card, but it'll go away. Oh, all things cost one extra momentum. That is very bad. Um that means we're only going to have maybe one move. Are all movement cards? Yeah, so the step's gone up to two. So that's actually not the worst thing ever. Um, this ends combos, so also bad. This ends combos, also bad. I... Let me... Move here. I don't want to kill anyone yet. I lost my combo. What am I doing? Uh, and then I lost my step. Uh, wait, what? See, these are the kind of mistakes I'm making. These really silly mistakes. Um, I can just advance anyway. Maybe. No, you cannot. Okay. So I'm just going to, well, if I kick this guy, this guy, and this guy's going to shoot me. <laughs> so, I'm screwed. I'm just going to get shot with 10 damage. I think we should restart this run. I've learned some good information. You know what, I'm going to do it. Let's restart. We're going to start again. We know way more now. We know how enemies attack. And I think we need that really to get through to the end anyway. So, we're going to start in a bathroom again. Classic James Bond. Bathroom mishaps. Okay. There are going to be three enemies. I would really like to kick this guy into a wall. Uh, this one here. This guy attacks one in front of him. This guy attacks two away and pushes me. So, And he attacks first, so he'll push me back into this guy, as we already know. If I do this... It's going to do 12 damage. He's got 20 life. 5 and 6. So I don't even have the damage to block him. This will do 12 damage. And I can do 16 damage. I could kill him if I can... Oh, the push is free actually. So we, could, we can just kill him right now. The wall bash, hammer fist and push, I think. So let's try it. Slip in front of him. We're just gonna push him. If he takes four, we know, okay. We're gonna hammer fist for the extra damage for the combo, because then this ends the combo, so we're gonna want to straight finish him. Ouch, he is gone. Okay, so that worked. Now, eight damage, pretty nice move past someone. I have a lot of movement cards right now. This isn't very good. Uh, I could just block this person. I could just hit them and block. Which I think is what I'm going to do because there's not much else I can do. Bang. I'll block. I'll just wait right here. Okay. This is where it's a bit more interesting because if I can slip past him and push him which I can do. So let me slip past. Oh, why can't I slip all the way past? Move around the target. Slip. The slip. And there is... Shift. And they seem like they're the same, but they are not. So this is weird. Slip is is a little dodge. Uh, shift goes through them. So I need to be careful with this. Um, this is not going to be as good. 
combo finisher. So this is going to gain me momentum back anyway. But I have no more movement cards. So, maybe what I do is just kick this guy into a wall. To, to do 10 damage, or 8 damage. I guess it was uh, 4 and 4, sorry. Then, I can just hit him. And just move. You know what? I think... Well, he's dead anyway, but I think that doesn't use a momentum yet, so I can even just slip past this guy. Although, he's only going to do 6, I might just quick block. So he took away my shield, did nothing else, and you don't keep your shield anyway, so you might as well just, just use it. And then I'm just going to kick him against the wall. Sorted. Easy. Shove. Push a target. Ooh, to the left. Oh, oh I like that. Yeah, we've got to, we've got to try this. This is uh, this is gonna get people in the position of doors for sure. Let's do the alleyway. Alleyway is a good one. Um, oh yeah. Oh, this is similar to the one where you fight the guy with the blowtorch, but it's not exactly the same. So they're all moving up on my position. If I could somehow slip past here and then front kick, this guy's gone. So why don't we the slip? is one the front kick is one long strike maintains range if i hit someone do they turn and look at me because that changes everything as well if you hit somebody sometimes they turn and they now face you i think some of them tell you when they do that so i don't see it telling us anything so i'm gonna slip here we have an extra range on this one so we're gonna kick this guy out the door insta killing him absolutely perfect Oh, that's why, because it moves me forward as well, but I can still hit this guy. As long as he doesn't turn and face me, we're all good. Okay, perfect. And uh, you know what? Why not just add 10 block, even though nothing's going to happen? We still need a 5 combo on this one as well, so shove is interesting. Wall bash is going to really hurt this guy. This guy's not even facing me, so wall bash is going to do 14. If I do this first, it might do 15. So shove. Short range punch. I could just move here at the end of my turn. Ends combo. We don't want to do that. We want to get the 5 combo. So why don't we do... The step is a movement. The block. Mm. The step is a movement. So I'm going to go up and then down one, unless maybe I shove also. <sighs> if I only had to push. If only I had a push. Okay, well, you guys are not going to get shot. I'm just going to hit this one. And I'm going to shove this guy here so he hits his mate he's gonna hit this guy now that's an interesting one and then if i step here let's find out does this guy now shoot because i'm in line yes but he's so he's gonna hit this guy he's gonna hit nothing then he's gonna get shot so i think that was a pretty good move well uh let's get that blocked for no reason so even if i'm behind an enemy the guy will try and shoot me so that's an interesting thing um shift Right, so shift is the one where you go through people. Okay, we have a counter. This guy does eight, this guy does eight. If we had a block and a counter, that'd be nice. Right now, I'm not seeing anything. So we can push this person here, quick strike and move up to him. And then counter, can we? So we can push. Quick strike, yeah, so we have three there. So let me... You know, why not quick strike him first? Just make sure. We'll push him. We have two left. We're gonna shift up to him. Let's see the com... I've got a five combo already, so if I move up to him, it does go down, and then I counter, which means I do get a free hit on him as well. So, turn around, L1. 
blow him. He's gone. That did a lot of damage. Is it like an eight? What? Oh, okay. I wish I would. You know what? Having some kind of log. Show him for me, but no. Having a log of what you did would be incredible in this game. Because uh, it shows you cards, but I did. I used counter. Oh. Uh, ooh. Uh, I used counter, so it should be in here. No, it's not, because they're all in here now. So where is counter? Counter here. Deal 10 damage to incoming attackers. Okay, so it does tell you how much it is. Um, shift. Nope. We want. What was the other one called? That awesome new card. Sh shove. Shove. Okay, but I can shift through, but I could shift through, but there's a bin. Yeah, there's a bin right there. Oh, there's an exit there as well. So let me just finish these guys. Uh, this guy's 11. I can do eight. I got four damage and a push, that's another eight. Um, or a push, that's four. So if I do eight and four, then I can move up to this guy and kick him. Mm. Shifting is one. So, is there a way to hit both of these guys right now? Push is free, so let me just hit that. And he's got seven. If I push him again, that should be another eight. I have two momentum. One of them's a shift. I also have a quick block, but that's only six. I do have an emergency move that I might as well use, so why don't I shift up, hit him, and then just move. He's got six, and now just combo finisher him, just back. Okay, got the combo, got a new card, uh, throw punch is nice, the target turns to face the attacker, this is what I was talking about. So. Turning and facing me is not something I particularly like, but it also stuns them for a turn, which is nice. Uh, so if you're in a pretty bad position, uh, you can just straight stop someone from, from hitting you. Um, wall bash. So this is... We started again, so we don't have a second wall bash. A second counter could be very nice. Um, I You don't see it very often. You know what? Let's, let's add the second counter. Some more defense is, is going to go a long way, I think. Powder room. So we just did an alleyway. Let's do a powder room. This is just it's just a bathroom about stalls. Just sinks and mirrors. Um from one exit. Oh I'm, okay, I've seen this one before. This is the ambassador of the UK or something. Yeah, British ambassador. Not gonna take damage from player attacks, but you can um so you can push him around. This guy's gonna shoot him for ten straight away, he only has twenty eight. These guys are the ones that really uh, mess me up. So, if you do anything in front of them, they basically take like a D&D &D attack of opportunity. They're going to hit you uh, with a push. Uh, the push is not massive, it just does four damage, but they chain it together. So if there's like two of them, that guy might push you into that one, then he pushes you over there. Because basically if you do anything in front of them, they're going to hit you. So the best thing I can do right now is, I mean, counter is not great. It's good because it stops uh, damage, obviously. It stops me from, from taking the fall. And this isn't really going to do anything. Uh, quick kick might be nice because it'll do straight 8 to him or to him. He's going to hit me. This guy's going to hit me. Like say he's weaker, but what is Overwatch? I think Overwatch means that he's going to want to attack. Um, hmm. I do have an emergency move. I could dash down here. No, the thing is, this guy's going to get shot, and I think I just kind of have to accept that that's happening. Um, I could move here and maybe push him. Oh, yeah, I could quick kick him. So, let me add the counter so I don't get hit. Then let me deal... I, I want to save that one. So let me do as much as I can to this guy. Six... Then he's going to push me for nothing because I had the counter on. Fortunately, I couldn't counter because I landed away from him. But then if I dash here, I can quick kick this guy. 
and this is range one two so i can actually go for a second attack and i maintain my range and he doesn't hit me back oh because then i've used my momentum this is what i mean why why did it use extra momentum oh because i added the counter as well gosh okay that was so stupid so stupid so we had a good strategy and then i screwed it not keeping an eye on my momentum over here my uh, your mana how many mystical things you can play so he's just gonna get he's gonna get shot again for god's sake so not great we really need to push this guy so if i count what okay let's not screw this one up i do this happens from away from me so if i hit this guy the good guy does it also give me combo because i can crack this guy as well so let me step front kick counter combo finisher so step here oh no because by stepping by stepping my combo is gonna go down so i'm not even able to do that so i could oh i can front kick as well no front kick is what i need to push it right yeah step and slip at the same time so you have too many move cards um move here and it's gonna go down to one then i'm gonna have to front kick this guy to get him out of the way he's gonna shoot him at least which is nice um This guy's gonna do four, this guy's gonna do eight. I mean, there's nothing else. I'm just gonna add this counter. Uh, yeah, there's, there's no point in jumping in one of them second hits because this guy's gonna do extra four damage. We're at full health right now, so I might as well keep it. I do still wanna try and do this in X amount of turns. There's four turns left and there's quite a lot of health. This guy needs to die. Um, this is nice. This is gonna do a lot of damage to someone. He has nine health. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Didn't like that. Okay. Twenty-five. If I do fourteen, <sighs> I need fifteen. I want the extra combo. I can quick strike. So if I shove this guy here, he's not gonna hit me. This guy is gonna shoot this guy for ten when I move. I'm gonna do a shift. So I need one left. I've got two. I've even got emergency moves, so it doesn't matter. This is now gonna do 15, which is perfect. So 15. Now I just need to move out of the way and let him get shot. Um so if I move here, I can actually even quick strike this guy for eight. This guy's dead, this guy's very close to dying, this guy's on full health. I'm hoping he moves. He's probably gonna move in front of me, but I would hope he moves to the door so I can push him out or something, but we'll see. As long as the ambassador's alive, I'm pretty sure that's, that's good for the bonus. Oh, there's another guy! Oh god, okay. This is not good. Um, he's gonna hit, he's not gonna hit him right now. So, one damage. This guy's definitely gonna shoot. It might be nice to push him in front of him, because I'm gonna shift through. Although, okay, let's let's figure this. I've got three turns, so I would really like to at least do some heavy damage and let this guy get killed. This guy's second to go, third to go, first to go. If I push, I can do eight damage. This guy's ten. This guy's four, but he pushes me away. And he does it before this guy shoots. So I can't counter this person. Unless I push this guy away. Which actually would just kill him. So I could. In fact, I don't have any more damage after that anyway. So it would be nice to do 10 straight to this guy. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to push this guy and kill him. Didn't kill him for some reason. So that's, that's nice. Um... <laughs> Don't know why. Oh, because he got hit something. What am I talking about? Okay, so I block and counter. And I just take the hit and then I hit this guy back. 10 and then counter attack. 10. 
Now I have like two turns left, right? Yeah. Combo finisher is going to crush someone. Wall bash also. So that's a combo ender, but that's a combo ender. This guy's going to shoot. If I do anything, this guy's going to hit me. If I step away, he's going to kill him. So I could step, emergency move, and wall bash potential on. Wait, that's going to end it. I need three combo. The combo finish needs three combo. This is 15 against this guy. So let me step, emergency move, wall bash hammer fist and kill this guy right so step he's gonna get shot and killed emergency move i can hammer fist get the combo up a little bit oh it's not gonna kill him oh my god oh my god well i've got one turn left to do with these two damage so this is, this is me. I might not win this. Oh, and he turns to, oh my gosh. Okay. This is the thing. This is where I start to fall apart every time. What turned him towards me? The wall bash. Right. Okay. Well, we know that now. So I need to do 10 damage somehow. He's going to go first. I can just quick kick him. Arm injury. Oh, attacks to two less. <laughs> Okay, well, I think I lose. Um, this does 8 damage. So if I can do 2 damage to this guy with this, because then it's going to advance one. So if I kick him, target and gain momentum. I kind of don't want to move around the target. Okay, I think I can't do this, but let's just try it. I think what I would like to do is finish this guy off. I mean, if I could get him to get shot, it'd be amazing, but obviously this arm injury is going to totally screw me right now. Uh, mostly because it's, a, it's an empty card. Um, slipping around the target. If I move here, I'm going to get an extra turn. But I can't hit this guy then, ever. Like, at all. So... <sighs> okay. In fact, you know what? Maybe it's just worth not getting killed. Uh, not taking damage. So if I quick kick, this guy is dead. I have two left. Then I can slip here, front kick this guy, and he's going to do 4 damage, and push one to adjacent target. Hmm. So I could, maybe that, okay. I'm going to take damage, but let me just try this. If I slip here, and I, oh, I can't do both. Why am I so stupid? I don't have the mana. This is what I'm talking about. Well, I'm going to take damage. I might as well block. I'm going to do some damage back. And he died because he did 10. So I did it, but I took damage. Um, that was a weird one. I only took two damage though, so it's not the worst thing ever. Does protecting the ambassador give me health? back so I should so I all that was moot because I'm totally fine Torn it seems honestly not useless Joel is too much of a dead card front kick I do like pushes I just like pushing uh, so now we can go to the gym or medical medical I'm full health so we're gonna go to the gym and gym is card upgrades or oh, maybe we couldn't go there anyway because we have there, I think that's what these dotted lines mean. Let's go to the gym. Yeah, so we can get new cards or card upgrades. So I don't think we want any of these. Let's try and remove. Oh, we could remove cards that cost 80. Maybe we remove it. Oh, these are so expensive. 
counter being free would be nice. Uh, eight. Adding more block is actually pretty great for counter because it means I don't have to get a second card of it as well. I'm going to straight upgrade that. Um, what does that... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What does that awesome card upgrade to? The, uh... Hey! Shove. What does shove... Oh, okay. This is, yeah, this is a weird menu. <laughs> what does... Sh shove is not here. So it's awesome and cannot be upgraded for probably good reason. 50 pounds, and then I'd only have 30 left, uh, which could upgrade Quick Strike. Uh, <laughs> to do more extra damage, that's not great. Long Strike, to do three extra damage, that's pretty great. Quick Kick, four extra damage. So I think that's pretty fantastic. Step also being free, so Step moves, Slip moves. I think we just get rid of Step. So let's try and get this upgraded. And we'll get the, uh, where's the 30 pound ones? Hey, where were the 30 pound ones? They all got more expensive. Okay, I did not know that that's how that worked. Uh, that's weird though, because how are you supposed to calculate? They all went up by 15 pounds. Um, oh, I'm not sure I like that. It would be nice if it, t I would have to add 15 pounds every time and do the math in my head, which is fine. But why do I need to do that? Okay. Well, we tried. Uh, we can add some more stuff to the deck for 15. That's pretty nice. You know what? Another quick kick might be lovely. Let's just go for it. Uh, what is the deck size now? Because I don't want it to be too big. 5, 10, 15. Okay. 19 cards. And we draw 5 a turn. So, 4 and cycle. Got the bar. I don't think I've... I don't think I've been to the bar yet. Table. Okay, we got Blowtorch, man. Yeah, I, I, I usually fight this guy outside, so this one is a total pain. Because um, he has 8 block every turn. He does 10 damage, which would be nice to get him to do to his teammates. And especially if they do damage back to him. So, shove I have, shift I have, so I could go behind him and push him into the way of this gunshot, and then he's going to hit this guy, and they're all going to hit each other, so I think that's that's the play. I think I shove, uh, shift, long strike, shove, shift, long strike to get his armor down, and now he has two, and then he's going to take ten damage and eight damage. 16 damage. Shove him. He cannot be down, but why? Oh, he's. His attack moves to the side. Why am I stupid? Okay. You know what? Um, you know what? It's so good. I think taking the 6 damage might be worth it. It's not a push, that's why. These are the mistakes that I'm making. They're really silly mistakes. So I would have to use my step, my emergency move, and I'd take six damage. But this guy would get, he would deal 10 to this guy. He would deal six to this guy and he would deal 10 to him as well. And I feel like that's really worth it. Maybe it's not, but we'll see. Ah, <sighs> uh, he wasn't gonna shoot. Oh, I did. Okay, good, good, good. I was gonna say he was aiming at me, right? Uh, I think it was still valuable. Um, he deals 10 damage. Counter's gonna deal 10 damage, but he's got his armor on. This guy's not gonna shoot, but if I move here, he will shoot. So I could move... Quick strike. Quick kick this guy into the wall. I have three momentum. But this might give me another one. We'll have to see. And this guy does six, so countering. Oh, but he pushes me away. But he's three. He's number one. So he's going to do nothing, and he would push me back into nothing. But this guy would hit me first, and he would die. So 
we take any more damage really so what do we do push yeah if I slip here I should get our momentum so I should get four momentum and then I can eight damage Potentially eight damage. I don't know if it does it when you hit people. So, so eight damage because he's got shield. Could I make him face me with one of these cards? No. And then, depending on my combo, which should be like two, he said do seven. So it'd be like another fifteen. It's not the worst thing ever. Um. This guy's gonna hit me last. This is this is a challenging one. I would like to have moved here. If I move here, this guy hits first, that's the problem. This is where the taunt card comes in, I guess. Maybe I could get him to shoot him like prematurely. You know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try that. I'm just gonna go for the move here and hit with a bunch of stuff. So move his armor, and I want to see if this damages both of them. It seemed, yeah, it does. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, and then I can hammer fist for seven, like I thought. You know, I have six turns left. I think that might have been worth it because this guy is is big. He's big. He's a big one. That guy's doing nothing. I would really like a shift. I do not have one, but I do have a wall bash. Which is excellent. This guy's 25. Hmm. If I wall bash this guy, it's just straight 16 damage. So minus 8. So 8 damage. He's back on. He's on 16 after that. I could make him 10. Um, and then I could move out of the way. So I don't see how it's a really big issue. So I might as well just crack his head on here. Bam. He's on 16. And then I hit him. Again, push him away. If only I could... I could... Yeah, there's not... There's not this guy's gonna do eight. And this guy's gonna do six and one push, so it would push me into the wall anyway. So I don't want to dash there and block, because it would block that damage, but then it would hit me against the wall and deal four damage anyway. This guy doesn't move forward, so I could just move here and push him. And see what happens, but I don't know if it's. Why not? We're gonna move here. And I'm just gonna push. If that were a shove, it'd be awesome because I could push him in front of the other guy's path, but whatever. So, I'm surrounded, which is kind of what we wanted. Um, kind of what we wanted. I would like this guy to shoot me, but it's not gonna happen. So, I need to do 18 damage to this one. Whew. Quick kick. That's the four. So, if I shift through this guy and hit him here. He's going to kill him. But he charges as well. So if I shift front kick, and these are both push. If I. Or I could counter. This guy's going to do some 10, but my counter is awesome now. So I could just kick this guy away.
and hit this guy as well. So he's going to do 10, he's going to do 8, my counter's blocks 12, 15. So actually, if I just block both, he, none of them knock me. So I'd have 25 block and I pretty much kill both of them. So I don't want to block that guy. I don't want to hit this guy because it's going to push him. Six damage and push to an adjacent target. That's fine, actually. So let me kick you away. Then if I front kick you, it shouldn't... It's going to push him back, but it says... Deal six damage and one push to adjacent target. I guess... Can I... It's weird, it should just be 6 damage and 1 push, or advance. Let's just do it like this. I don't know if I had the momentum. I think I would have made another stupid mistake. So let me kill you. Why are you not dead? You are dead. You are dead. Okay. Four turns left of the, these two. And they don't seem like too much of an issue. So... This allows me to advance, so first thing we want to do straight away is advance. He's not going to auto attack me back. If I counter now, he dies. But if I slip here, I can wall bash that guy and counter. So we slip. Wall bash. This is pretty major damage for that guy, and then I just counter. Throw a block on there as well, why not, just in case. No, he's dead. Three turns to deal with you. And honestly, you, you, you're not that uh, strong. So, the order we want to do this is Hammer Fist. Then we can kick you away. Oh, you die anyway. Awesome. New enhanced card. Separate, okay. Hook kick. Gain two momentum next turn. Nice. Kind of nice. Um, push enemies one time in opposite directions and deal four damage. Opposite direction seems useless unless I'm really blocked in. And I know that's kind of what this game is about, but the movement usually seems... I, I feel like it's my fault if I get blocked in. But maybe not. Um... It might, this might be really useful. And it is another push. Let's let's go for this. Um, the event cards in this game seem to be notoriously bad, but that's where the gym is also. So let's, let's go see. Your flight has been sabotaged. Take control of the plane or grab a parachute and make for the exit. 60%... Oh. 66. 66. I am very unlucky, so this is pretty much a guaranteed injury. So let's go for it. Yeah, I got an injury. <laughs> so you grab the stick, it's not the prettiest landing. You're hurt and the evidence is lost. And now I have a fractured leg forever and ever. So, excellent. Now I go to the gym and I don't have the money to remove that card. So, wow. Good work. Real, real nice. Um, cancel. You know what? I actually wouldn't mind just upgrading the other counter card. It's so good. It's doing wonders, so... Um, it's doing wonders. I, we can't add anything else anyway. What we want to do is get rid of that injury, so is there another gym before the end? Yes, but it's also where the medical room is. Um, the events are just awful, to be honest. And this one gives extra money, card and extra money, so... We want that, and then we're going to have to try and move towards the other gym. And not take any damage ever. The events are so tempting though, because you want them to be good, but they just, they never are. But, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not falling for it again. Ridiculous. So, another bathroom. Uh, plenty more people. This is, no it's not. I thought it was one of those dudes that auto attacks. It is not. 
four enemies only and they're all here that's what i see uh, we need to complete within four turns that is unlikely a five combo is likely i say unlikely because that's that's a lot of four turns that's one kill a turn and they have you know decent health um i can do eight damage right now six damage right now and then i could slip and A quick kick uh, so yeah if I want this guy to hit this guy what I want to do if I push him into him you know what, let's just try it what happens they just they take four damage each they do <laughs> okay that's nice uh, slip doesn't do what I thought it is because it's not shift those two cards are too confusing in my opinion um, what we want to do is in that case, let's just go all out on this guy, which is, let's do another 8, let's do another 10. And now we're just going to slip here, and we're safe. Okay, now I'm trapped, so this is where the separating card would come in handy. Uh, kind of, because they're not really opposite, but still. Um, no people attacking each other i have a step so i can push this guy and step forward this guy does eight quick block adds six but i am going to be able to use a combo finisher which is going to do some good damage so actually a combo finisher it does 12. so let me just quick kick this guy away advances this guy does six damage but it adds an injury card as well so that's not something we really want to be dealing with so let me quick kick waffle kick we fail kick do more damage we don't need that much damage to kill this guy um combo finisher does 14 Oh, the step because the leg injury. I have what? Wait. Why is that too? I don't have the leg injury in my hand right now. Is it just constant forever? Oh my god. Oh my god, that's the worst thing. Wow, that's really, really bad. That is really bad. Um, he's gonna do eight. So combo finishes in fourteen. I can emergency move though if I really have to. So I could combo finisher this guy. Quick kick this guy. I don't really want to do that though because I want to move here though. So I need to. I could emergency move here, quick kick you, combo finish you, but it's not going to kill you. 8 plus 2 times combo. 2 times combo. They need to be in brackets, don't they, right? Yeah, no, well, I know you're doing multiplication, but still. 2 times combo damage. So it's doing plus 5, right? Uh, plus, oh, 6. It's like that's Combo, eight plus, yep, 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 so six, but it's gonna want two each time. So if I quick kick, I mean, it's gonna go up straight to 16, it's not enough. If I can hit two things, but I cannot, so. It would kill that guy though, so I could quick kick, step, and then murder him and block this guy and just take the injury for now. I could even emergency move. So, quick kick you. We're, we've got 16, but it's going to go back down to 14. Or I could just straight kill you. Which actually seems way better. So... This guy hits anyway, so actually, you know what, I'm gonna move back with my Uh, Ooh, 
would really like my smash your head into a wall card right now, I'm not gonna lie. So, uh, if I could push this thing is I want to. Ah, oh, the move is so bad. Six damage, eight damage. That kills this guy. So that does the extra damage. Um, push does nothing, so you know what? That's that's totally fine. And we we are almost on a five combo. We have two turns left, so I need to kill. Well, if I push, if I can push this guy. He goes down. Don't want to end this combo. <sighs> this sucks because uh, we don't really have the cards. We have two com. We have a combo ender. We have movement. Does counter give us combo? Because I might just kill this guy with the counter, that's the problem. And I can't kill them both this turn, because I don't have a push card, all of a sudden. Although... You know what? Yeah. Let's, we're going for this. Screw the combo. Combo's done. He's not next to a thing! This is what I'm saying! He's not next to the thing, so... Uh... <sighs> yeah. Well... It's not gonna happen. So we're just gonna do this and Well they, they I mean they <laughs> Because he attacks two spaces in front, they just attacked me one after the other. Complete look. I totally forgot uh, to check the order of that. See what this there's so much going on and it all interacts with each other. Um, add a random attack card, that seems garbage, add momentum, it's, this is an empty card, right, because it, you, it's okay to get an extra momentum, but this is the card that I would want as well, if it was add momentum and draw cards, it's just like cycling your deck, but, Stunder is nice, because this is, seems like an upgraded version to do 6 damage, so I'm gonna take that, probably good against the last boss, because I haven't seen them, uh, parking, no other options, no other options. Ah, okay. This guy's interesting. He does like a, a huge like hook punch that hits all of these areas around him. I don't know why it's not showing it right now. Um, but basically it's all five squares to the left and right and then the three in front. And he's going to attack and he does 12 damage. So he's going to hit this guy pretty nicely. This guy's got a gun point blank range, um, so I'm not a fan of that. I could hit this guy into that wall, is that what that's saying? I think I can. And I could kill him. So I have no, no concern about him. Uh, I don't see why I wouldn't straight murder him. Oh! He has a lot of life, actually. Uh, I don't know. That did not do as much as it said. Oh, because this guy, yep, this guy gives everybody four boost, four um, armor. Yes, yes, yes. Now I remember. Slip, though, gives me an extra momentum. I could go here. That slip, please. Uh, I can quick strike. And then I can long strike. He's down. Uh, this guy's gonna get cracked. I'm fine with that. He should take about seven, eight damage. Twelve. Oh yeah, yeah. He's got the, the four block, not the five block. Okay. He's gonna get hit again, so I'm just gonna keep letting him get punched, basically. Um, and I might as well just hit him. I can even shoot him. So. Why don't I... I want to move away though. I want to finish this with a stun dart. No, I don't. I just want to move this. Move it, move it, move it. 
a step, right? Just like a step right down here. Oh, oh, I'm going here at the end of this round. But I'm, this guy's going to die. He's going to take 8 damage from him. So I only need to do 9. Um, nine. This does six. Uh, this does six. I can stun him, and then this guy I can hit as well, just for something. Why not? But if I hit him with this and this, this should go up to eight anyway. So let me hit you. You're still in the range to get hit. You're still in the range to get stun darted. You're on nine. Oh my god, he's not gonna kill you. Why did I miscalculate? How do I miscalculate something so simple? Um You know what? I kinda want you dead. I might just use the separate now. Well, 8 damage though, such a waste, so let's move here instead and just crack this guy for 7, bang, not the worst thing ever, he's he's going down, um, because I knocked his armor off, that's why, okay, yeah, 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 I keep thinking, he doesn't do 8, he does 12, but it's with armor, um, I would like to shift past this guy and then push him back into this guy. So that's what this is going to do. Um, might as well give him a kick as well. Unfortunately, that's kind of the end. Well, they're both going to hit each other for some good stuff. Uh, he is... Okay, well... I mean, if I kick you, you're done for, aren't you? So, you attack first. Yes, so why don't I instead shove you here, dash here, and count. Don't die, but why then? Oh, because you have to be right next to him to counter. Okay. So do I have a... Can this guy... He can be pushed. So I want to slip here. And I want to front kick you out of the window, out of the door, whatever. And I want to... You are two. So yeah, I just want to chin you as well. Bunk. New enhanced card. Maintain combo. Don't lose combo from movement this turn. It costs one. That is awful. Um, do three damage three times. Yeah. It's not awful. Vault over an obstacle into an empty tile. Gain momentum and a combo. That is interesting because it's situational, but it's also a move too. Um, does vault count as move? I'm going to assume no, but all move cards are now way more expensive. So I'm pretty worried. Do three damage three times? Does that do it to the same person? Does it do it in three different areas? I have no idea. Uh, honestly, I kind of want to take this card just to see. It's not great though. You know, maybe we go. With, maybe we just skip. We don't. I'm gonna skip. Um, we can't remove that injury, as I've discovered. So we could go to two events and then to the medical. Probably what we want to do. Well, we can upgrade some cards, maybe remove some though. This is money. This is money, but it's all. I think we want to heal before the final area. That's kind of what I want to do, even if it means we have to go through that. So let's try and get some money. I'm sure medical is healing, but I don't know what else it does. Oh my god, okay, you need to go right out that. Oh, you did. You just stood right in front of that door. Can you get pushed back? You... I do not have a push card right now. Are you absolutely joking? How can this be? We're going to slip here. 
we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna hammer fist this guy I'm gonna move it here we're gonna try and shove him out of the door <laughs> it worked okay and then we just crack you from the side and we're all good that was an awesome start we need a five man a, a, a five combo there's only two two guys left um front kick is nice because i can front kick somebody stun somebody and then counter so i want to front kick and stun you actually so i kind of want to stun you first right so stun because your range is different and then i want to kick you that does advance me oh god okay well not the best thing ever it don't matter i've got a lot of turns left um well, why don't I just kick you to get the thing? Get the combo. I've got the five combo. And then I just smash your face <laughs> wall and win the level. Excellent. Okay. We're doing well. We're getting there. Counter. I really like these counters. Advance towards a selected enemy three tiles away. Maintain your combo. That's cool. Uh, swap, swap places with an adjacent enemy and increase combo. I really like that, because um, it can get you out of tight situations. And it increases your combo. They do turn to face you, so you have to keep that in mind. But <clears throat> I'm, getting for, I'm going for it. Right. No more fights before the end. There is an event. I hate these events. In a brief period of downtime, you notice a local boxing gym. Join the gym and train a new technique, so your idle card lose currency. Join the gym and train an existing technique. Upgrade a card those currency. Here's the thing. I mean, we want we don't want to ignore the gym. Because I have money and there's nothing else to do with it besides medical. I don't know how much you lose. Hopefully it's not too much. So I can still heal. I don't want a new card because it could be garbage. But any upgrade is, is a boost to the deck. So why don't we go with this? £100, that's totally fine. What card got upgraded? <gasps> it's any card. Wait, what? Any ca what? This can't be real. We're gonna upgrade the most expensive, right? Oh, any card, but you have a hundred to spend. Okay. Can you spend several? What does shift do? And do six damage or move two. That's pretty nice. It just it's because it's the most expensive one, but I I'm tempted to see if I can use £100 worth of money to do two things. You know, I'm, I'm not risking it, because I, I, I bet you can, so... Wait a second, this is going to use my money. It is going to use my money, so we want to save 60 in case that's how much it costs. You know, we probably just want to upgrade a, a, a card that's like £30 or less. So, step being zero is amazing, because it's not very good. Shift is, is too expensive. Uh, quick kick is fine. Front kick, quick kick, we've got quite a few things. Swap, costing zero is amazing, so I'm going to do that. Uh, Okay, so it did use £100 and let us do it for free. Then why did it show me the money? So we upgraded the... It should have. I should have upgraded the most expensive card. See, the, this, these are the things that I hope that the game fixes before it comes out. Because I class that. That's 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 lack of information that caused me to make a bad decision, I, I, I think. That, so. Remove an injury cost 80. Absolutely. Absolutely. I didn't realise we could do that. So screw the healing. We don't want that injury. That is a nightmare injury. We've got 34 health. We've taken like one hit the entire game. So I think we're okay. Last fight. And then uh, enhanced targets boss. There's only three targets. We're in a bar. Different layout. I have played this layout before. I need to make notice of this, note of this back door. Okay, what does this guy do? He's got 72. 
He does 16 damage, and he turns to face the player every time you hit him. So... I can push this guy out of the door right now by front kicking him away, moving up to him, and then separating. Oh, do I even have a push maybe? No. So I'm going to emergency... Him. You know what? If I move, separate, I can emergency move. I can't counter again. So there's no point. Let me just shift up. There's no point using the emergency thing. And then we just push this guy out of the door. Bye bye. It's one down. If we push this guy out of the door, that is, that would be incredible. He cannot be that stupid. I would have to like shove him three times, I'm sure. Um, he doesn't counter, I don't think. Um, if I move forward. Swap positions and push him. No, it's not very good. Honestly, we're probably looking at trying to wall bash him, which is. He's gonna face me anyway. What if. If I swap, then he turns around and faces me as well. So he. It's a heavy attack, but it's one space in front, right? Oh no, it's two spaces in front. If I highlight him, it shows that this... Is, I, I believe that's what it's showing anyway. So, if I... Move. With an emergency move. Then I wall bash him. Then I push him. It, it is still going to hit me. So, there's really no benefit to that. I might as well just focus on taking this guy out, probably. Uh, the way that I do that is I could move, swap, push him into this guy, and this guy's going to do 16 damage to him. So move, swap, push. So I can actually hit him with this first. Well, maybe I do that at the end, actually. Move, swap, push. I don't know if push up makes you combo go up. I don't know what all these icons do. It's range, damage, and, and push, but I don't know if they all uh, increase your combo. Let's see. Let's see. It's it's at one now. When I move, it's going to go down to zero. So I'm actually using my emergency move. I'm going to swap. It did go up, and now... Oh, and it, yeah, 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 yeah. We knew that he was going to face me, but I have block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we push him. Does it go up to two? It does. Then we crack him. He's going to take 16 damage. It's not enough to kill him, though. It would have been really nice. And we just take a little bit of damage. That's fine. That is totally fine. So we want to try and get this guy to the door. Like, 100%. That is the way we kill him, right? Um... If 12 damage back to him seems pretty nuts. I can just... I can combo finisher him. Dash and quick strike this other guy. So... I mean, I might as well just do as much damage as I can. Just in case I don't do it anyway. Then we can... Actually, quick strike him as well. And then if we... Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Well... It looked like it was going to shove him over here, and I don't know why, because I know what shove does by this point. But what I can do is put him here so I can choose his friend. Like this instead. Um, summons two reinforcements. Oh, so if I sleep him now, that's going to be a big play. Uh, so we want a quick kick. The range is one. Uh, we can step. 
We can step. We can quick kick. We can slip. We can stun dart. So now he shouldn't do the thing he's gonna do. I would hope. So now he didn't summon him, which is awesome. We just we just completely bypassed it. So um, it would be nice to get around him, to be honest, because I could do extra damage, but it looks like it's not going to happen. So instead, we're going to run at him, kick him back, do six. Um, that's probably going to be it. We have four turns left. Right. We've got 26 life. I can counter to do 12 damage, so I need 14 damage to him. Um, I need one momentum and I need to be in front of him. So, we slip. Oh, we should have stepped, slipped. No, because we don't want the push. We actually don't want the push, do we? But if we quick kick him to the back, and now we can step in front of him. And then we bang, bang. We're not going to take any damage, but he's going to take 12 back. It's 12, right? I think it's 12. It's overrated. Yep. And then... Combo finish, we need a uh, combo. So the way that we do that... If we move, hmm. Yeah, yeah, I remember this. So you know what? Uh, if this is the end, there's no point in playing it all the way out. Um, I might as well just block. He's gonna do one damage to me anyway. I'm just gonna block. I'm just going to counter him. He's going to let him hit me. And then I'm going to chin him. He's down. We've got 20 health. We defeated the boss. We get a new enhancement. I believe that's the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good work. Okay. What's next? Well, let's take a look. Congratulations. So we beat the prologue, finally. <laughs> Uh, this game is definitely wishlisted. I've really been I've been looking forward to it for a while. I love deck builders um, And I've never seen anything like this where it's just so tight and that you you, you still have this like board Obviously deck building is, is like such a board game mechanic, but usually you know what slay the spire and uh, a Monster train have done and obviously other board games like Aeon's end is there's this there's no movement on the board, right? You're, you're just building your deck and trying to make as efficient as possible but this one, I really like the movement, and I really like the the positioning, the pushing. Uh, you know, you can uh, make enemies attack each other. You can be really smart. It allows you to be like uh, play, and and make these incredibly clever plays. It, it lets you feel really good about these big combos that you pull off. Um, it also makes you feel really stupid when you fall for really silly stuff that you should be totally aware of. So, but uh, really looking forward to it. Have been since May time. Uh, look out for more videos and maybe a review of the game when it comes out. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. That's, that was a that was a successful run. I might do more of this. I usually don't talk on videos, but um, it definitely helps. Actually, I felt like it helped me plan out what I was doing because I had to explain it to somebody, even if nobody's there. Um, it's like the, the you know the, the rubber duck programming technique, and I was just I just felt I I, I felt like I was a uh, justifying things and it made more sense even when i made mistakes it was at least i was walking through so yeah look forward to more content in the future um oh okay well thank you but not